should not have been any reason for him to zigzag that bus across those tracks. Tonight, some parents in Folkestone, Georgia are upset with the county school superintendent's decision to keep this bus driver on the road. He was disciplined after being caught on camera driving around the railroad crossing arms, which is against policy. Thank you for joining us on this Friday night at 6. I'm Anthony Austin and I'm Heather Crawford. We're glad you're with us. So the big question tonight is why is he driving again? Some parents say he should have been fired on your sides. Ken Amaro is in Folkestone now with the story. It's been a couple of weeks since a Charlton County school bus driver was caught on video crossing these tracks while the crossing arms were malfunctioning. Yesterday, that driver was put back on the school bus and some of the parents are not happy. The cell phone video shows the railroad crossing arms going up and down as a big yellow school bus zigzags around them. There should not have been any reason for him to zigzag that bus across those tracks. Jasmine Hewitt is stunned to learn that the driver of bus 17 is now back behind the wheel. He should have known better. There was no excuse. And he did it only once but twice in the same day. Hewitt today decided to drive her sister's four children to school instead of letting them ride the bus. And when I found out that they that he is back driving it, I said, no, I will drive 30 minutes from Camden County to come take them to school. Now she and other parents question the district's decision. We have no way of knowing if it's going to happen again. They can say whatever they want to say. Is school superintendent John Learcy says the Charlton County school system is committed to the safety of the students at all times. In a statement he wrote, the bus driver was immediately removed from the bus. An investigation was conducted. Disciplinary action has been taken and the driver has undergone retraining. I don't think he should be back, period. Learcy adds in his statement, we do feel confident in the ability of this driver to return to the bus. He's a veteran driver with over 12 years of experience in our school system. But the parents who have seen this video are not convinced. Even if someone says, oh, my kid doesn't ride that bus, it's not my problem. This should be everybody's problem. This is public concern. Parents have lost their confidence in the driver. In Charlton County, Canamero, First Coast News, on your side.